4. Worship of the Elements Mankind has worshipped earth, air, water, and fire. The primitive races venerated springs and worshipped rivers. Even now in Mongolia there flourishes an influential river cult. Baptism became a religious ceremonial in Babylon, and the Greeks practiced the annual ritual bath. It was easy for the ancients to imagine that the spirits dwelt in the bubbling springs, gushing fountains, flowing rivers, and raging torrents. Moving waters vividly impressed these simple minds with beliefs of spirit animation and supernatural power. Sometimes a drowning man would be refused succor for fear of offending some river god. Many things and numerous events have functioned as religious stimuli to different peoples in different ages. A rainbow is yet worshipped by many of the hill tribes of India. In both India and Africa, the rainbow is thought to be a gigantic celestial snake. Hebrews and Christians regard it as the bow of promise. Likewise, influences regarded as beneficent in one part of the world may be looked upon as malignant in other regions. The east wind is a god in South America, for it brings rain. In India it is a devil because it brings dust and causes drought. The ancient Bedouins believed that a nature spirit produced the sand whirls, and even in the times of Moses, belief in nature spirits was strong enough to ensure their perpetuation in Hebrew theology as angels of fire, water, and air. Clouds, rain, and hail have all been feared and worshipped by numerous primitive tribes and by many of the early nature cults. Windstorms with thunder and lightning overawed early man. He was so impressed with these elemental disturbances that thunder was regarded as the voice of an angry god. The worship of fire and the fear of lightning were linked together and were widespread among many early groups. Fire was mixed up with magic in the minds of primitive fear-ridden mortals. A devotee of magic will vividly remember one positive chance result in the practice of his magic formulas, while he nonchalantly forgets a score of negative results, out-and-out -out failures. Fire reverence reached its height in Persia, where it long persisted. Some tribes worshipped fire as a deity itself. Others revered it as the flaming symbol of the purifying and purging spirit of their venerated deities. Vestal virgins were charged with the duty of watching sacred fires, and in the twentieth century candles still burn as a part of the ritual of many religious services.